What is up everybody? I'm Ty Gibson and this is Gibson Garage. As you can see in my previous videos, I have a 1966 Ford F100, 2007 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, and a 2012 Ford F350 Power Stroke 6.7 Turbo Diesel. And we just got a new Expedition and a 99 Jeep Wrangler. We just sold the 2015 F150 literally about an hour ago. And so now that that's out and gone, great truck, never had a problem with it. Just didn't need any use for three trucks now. So I'm going to show you guys an update on my 1966 Ford F100 build. Here, I'll, I'll, let's get right into it. Here she is. So the bed's over there. The cab's right here. And then we mocked up the front suspension out of the Crown Victoria. So here's the old suspension out of the truck. So it's got the twin I-beam. This is second year of it. It's for sale. So if anyone's local in Georgia, uh, please call. Let me know. Um, it's for sale. It came out of the 1966 Ford. Not a problem with it. Ran good, it's got the V8 coil springs, but that's what came out. And then over here, this Crown Victoria I purchased from the government. We had a lot of fun with it driving around, but now I cannot wait to see this thing go. There's no wiring left in it or anything. No actually value parts like that I'm gonna use left in it. It's just doors and the body's pretty decent other than that one dent right there. But um, you know, I found if you guys do have a Crown Victoria, if you guys take the drain plugs, I don't know if you can really see it here. If you take the drain plugs right there and put them up on the holes in the roof where the light bar was. Well, let me focus it. There you go. So if you put them up on the, the roof where the light bar was, it works as a perfect drain plug. So let's get on with that suspension there. Here on the Crown Victoria, we uh, disconnected the whole front end here. Just went into those two bolts right there and then these two. Then there was two back ones uh, for the control arms, and then there was also, uh, you know, just a few more things. But I took the engine transmission out of this, the whole wiring harness, the uh, all the heater controls and all that stuff. The brake booster staying. We're gonna buy an aftermarket one of those. But um, all that stuff is out, and so we are starting to mock up the uh, suspension here on the '66. So I kind of just laid this core support here with the fenders and everything. But let me show you. This is not actually in just all kind of laying here but um here's the suspension and just focus it a little bit all right here's the suspension so right there those two holes in the frame rail basically right about like here-ish that's where the little dowel pin underneath that's where that's gonna go as well as this side this side's a little bit rougher right there in the frame rail but we're gonna, uh, we're gonna clean it all up and fix it all up shouldn't be a problem this right here that's a bolt anyway so that'll go out and then uh, yeah so that'll go in and then that's how it'll go in should slap right into place and then uh, we got right here in the truck I got these uh, box kits I got these box kits right here from Backyards Customs and they're really, really well made and everything. So I'm gonna be bringing these in. But basically, you cut out part of the frame. Where, well, let me show you. Basically, you cut out like that little part of the frame where you're going around. So for extra support, you box it in. And so this makes it so that way the Crown Victoria will bolt right up to it, or the suspension will. So these two bolts at the top, that's where it bolts onto. And then underneath, there's a dowel pin hole right there. So. Everything should line up perfect. Weld that in. You got a boxing kit right there. So there's that. And then I even have control arm plates, which are somewhere in this mess. Somewhere. But here are all my parts for the truck. Um, everything's torn apart. Nothing's left in here except for all those parts and everything. And then, uh, yeah, nothing's back behind the seat anymore. I took the gas tank out. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. Let me put this box back in. There they are. There's control arm plates right there. So it just bolts up to the control arms and uh, go right onto the frame. So I've got pretty good patina going on up here. I'm going to be painting it at some point. Probably not right after, you know, I build it all. But, uh, yeah, this door is completely shot. So, uh, the bottom on the rust is pretty bad. Same with the other door. I have a skin for that door, but I have an extra door for this side. So all this stuff is being replaced. And, uh, there's my hood, my bed, and then I got, you know, the Ford written across. Got my license plate right there. And, uh, I just got mud all over my hands. That's nice. 
here's my old grill. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen previous videos or anything, but this is like completely destroyed. It's like bent and messed up. It was in some accident at some point, so it's pretty bad. Here's a radiator off of it. There's the front balance and all stuff. Here's the old tire I had that blew. And uh, you know, there's a Crown Vic radiator. That's everything I cut out the frame. I got the heater box here. And then all the bumpers and all that stuff. That's a 2012 F350 bumper. It's actually pretty good. There's only like one dent in it. But we got a road armor, so we took that off. All the trim for the truck is right there. Here's a spare door. It's in really good condition. Although it may look like crap, it's just because it was painted white with a paintbrush, but it's uh, it's in pretty good condition. And uh, yeah, so that's basically the update on the truck here. But it it's coming along really nicely. There's my cluster I'm using, but it's really, uh, really coming along nicely. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the truck here and you know, the cab there, the bed there, Crown Vic there, and all that stuff. But, you know, there's going to be a lot more content coming out soon. I'm just now, um, I'm going to try to post once a week, minimum. Um, we'll see if that happens, if I keep up the schedule or not. But, um, yeah. So, this truck build, it's going to be basically like a whole restoration project. That's what this channel is going to be mainly focused on. But I also have, here in the garage, I'll show you. We have a golf cart shop, so we have a ton of golf carts. But... That dirt bike right there, I have, uh, I'm, I've just rebuilt that. There was nothing but a frame not too long ago. So, uh, I just rebuilt that whole entire thing. And so, now I go to start it. It's rebuilding the whole engine and crank's broken. So, I'm going to try to roll start it later and I'll put, probably post a video on that. But, uh, we'll see if that runs or not. This one runs. It's my little brother's. It's pretty cool to get the flames all over it and everything. But uh, the throttle sticks on that, so we gotta, you know, fix that. And then here's our golf cart. Uh, we blew the rear axle out of it, but it's really custom, really cool. The subwoofers on it and everything. There's a 12 inch subwoofer back there, full light kit and everything, lift kit, rims, tires, goes 45 miles an hour, nothing stock on it. It's a beautiful cart. But uh, yeah, this will be up and running soon. And I'll try to post pictures on that. <laughs> Camber life. No, this is the bad bad spot right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Nah, you can't really see it, but that axle shaft broke. So we have a new one for it. And uh, I'm gonna put that on. Here's a Crown Vic engine. It's a 4.6 liter V8 that came out of it with a, uh, I think it's a four-speed transmission, but it's a completely built transmission, and it's a consensus was police used. Whole top end of this motor is built for highway use, so it's a highway package of the interceptors. So uh, that's going in the truck, and it's going to be really cool. Here's all the wiring for the truck. There's an extra glass, uh, or door glass for both sides, and then we have uh, you know the column from the Crown Vic, and there's a Dana 30 for our 99 Wrangler. So um, needless to say. My friend, he's looking at buying a 1998 uh, Jeep Wrangler and doing an inline six swap on it. It's got a blown inline four right now, so I'll let you guys know. Um, I'll try to post a lot more. A lot more content should come out soon. I'm probably gonna do a collab with my friend, so uh, hopefully there's gonna be a lot more content, and I really do hope you guys do enjoy. Um, I know a lot of you guys saw my three liter diesel F-150 video. That's not my truck. I just found it online, found it cool, so I just reposted it. But uh, so that's what all you guys are writing. If you guys are writing a meme about that, I have no association with that truck. I just found a thing online about it, and I thought it was cool, so I posted it. So we had that 15 F-150, and I thought they were cool. So uh, that's that, and I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. And until next time, guys. Six seven, just sitting there, pretty. If you guys want to see a review on that, please comment below. I'll probably be my next video.